Hello everyone, this is Josh from Respawn Timer and I'm going to give you a quick run through of Prototype 2. I've not played any of it yet, I've played through the whole of the first one. I thought it was pretty awesome. If you've never heard of it, and um, I'm sure you have, um, it's basically like, I would say it's a cross between like Spider-Man and a game like GTA. It's pretty free roam, um, hack and slash, uh, kick the crap out of everything and blow shit up. So it's really good fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed playing it, but I'm not too sure. You know, the first one wasn't without its problems, it wasn't the best port ever. Um, let's just have a quick look at the options. You've got. See, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller just because. You know, it's going to be <laughs> basically easier, I think, for a game like this. Um, I can't see how using a mouse is going to be any easier. Resolutions or normal. Shadow detail. Yeah, let's keep this all the same. You don't normally have these options on Xbox, so it looks like they have made some effort. Prop draw distance. Oh, no idea what that is, but never mind. Audio. I've had to turn it down a bit because obviously I'm recording. I changed this. We got home theater or TV. I thought TV sounded better through my headset, so I don't know. Let's put subtitles on as well for you guys if you can't hear the sound that well. Um, you've got keyboard and stuff. Yeah change your gamma hmm. I'm going to keep it standard right so let's get out of that and let's give it a go so new game uh, we'll go for normal Try and skip some cutscenes, I think, so it doesn't ruin it for anyone. I'm going to have to go through them later, though, because I've not even seen them yet. What the do? hell is this punk up to? stick to move. Oh, that was a weird. Okay, the controls are a little bit funny. The cameras are a bit, a little bit weird. What? There's Alex Mercer from the first one. You in there. I'm guessing I don't have any special powers yet. Hmm. Hello? Please help me. I'm not sure what to make of these graphics. Yeah. A little bit dodgy. Mercer! Don't you run from me!
it looks like it's one of those ones that's pretty impossible to fail. Hold down right trigger and run the fuck away. God, those explosions look bad. Yeah, like I was saying before, these graphics look pretty bad, actually. Where am I? I mean, I know that games that are... What? What's going on there? I guess I can't skip that. Is this? But it's like... I know it's designed for Xbox and not for PC, but... Come on. What the hell's going on there? Uh. Let me out of here! You have what you need, Dr. Koenig? Colonel, please, we must learn all we can about the subject. Hey, I can hear you! Oh, this is what I wanted. Lots of zombies. I'm gonna kill you when I get out of here. Hey! You hear me? That's enough. He's too dangerous. Burn him. Rocks, you can't. He's far too valuable. You're out of order, Koenig. Lieutenant Riley, hit the switch. Yes, sir. Burn or give him per curve of us rooks. O223 hours. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's alright, but the graphics are no improvement on the first one, and for some reason they seem worse, I mean, but then again, if you compare it to like, you know, games like Grand Theft Auto, which is something I mentioned earlier, it's kind of similar. Graphics for It's got that same sort of, you know, minimalistic graphics wise, but hopefully the gameplay gameplay makes up for that once I get a bit further into the game. Shit, we gotta find some cover. 
Yeah, there we go. Good old flying. That's what was brilliant in the first one. The fact that you could just like fly, run up walls. God damn, this is gonna come in handy. Alright, I should get to higher ground. Find out where I am. Whitewash commanders, we have a missing Gen Tech test subject in the area. Name is James Heller. The specimen is black, bald, mid-30s, last seen in a leather jacket, and is extremely dangerous. If you encounter the subject, you are cleared hot. Rattler out. Yeah, the controls and everything seem exactly the same as the first one. Um, and that is by no means a bad thing. Wait a minute. I know this neighborhood. That's my church. Wonder if Father Guerra's in. Sure could use some spiritual advice right about now. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, well, that was... That was bad. That was very bad. You still got these? Yeah. I'm on a mission here. I'm on, on a vendetta to destroy this stupid helicopter. Aha! You'll do. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, where'd it go? Never mind. Okay. Yeah, see, not too many complaints about this. I mean, you're straight in the thick of things like you were in the first one. Um, see, if you played the first one and you enjoyed it, you'll enjoy this. And that's... That's it, really. You'll love it. If what Mercer says is true, I need to look into Gentech and Blackwatch. Who's in charge around here? Fine. I don't know names, but I know there are two commanders at the hospital. They turned it into a command post. James, please, don't cause any trouble. Father, if Blackwatch made the virus, then they killed Maya and Colette. What would you do? You tell me that. Be careful. What the hell was that? Am I fucking seeing things now? This ain't funny. Why is everything flashing? Okay. So I change into my disguise, but I'm still carrying a jeep. Don't worry about it, guys. No, that does look pretty ridiculous. I'm gonna keep hold of this. Oh, maybe not. I'm gonna say I'll keep hold of this sheep until the end of the game, but I guess not. Oh, God. oh where'd it go? Sonar. Man. Press left stick down to hunt. Sends out a hunting pulse. This is new, I don't think it was. this was in the first one. Then again, it's been a while since I played it. Oh, come on. This is a bit irritating. 
over. But okay, where did I get this disguise from? I didn't have this disguise before. Gentech guy that was doing tests on me back in the lab. I'll deal with him later. First, I gotta lose these assholes. Oh, how do I pick up the gun? Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. James, did you find those commanders? Found one. Other guy got away. I don't know where he'd be. Don't worry. I've got something that'll track him down. Alright, so... If you haven't played Prototype before, you'll be thinking, this is awesome. Um... And if you had played Prototype before and you liked it, you'll be thinking this is awesome. But if you played the first one and you didn't like it, then you'll be thinking this is the same old crap. And yeah, it is the same old crap, but I kind of like it. Very cool. So irritating. You can't skip like half of these cutscenes. I wanted to skip them all, but hmm. like this some you can, some you can can't. Oh, the Go to higher ground. Basically, when you do that, you like inherit their Colonel Rooks. Um, that memories and killed back in the lab. Well, basically, it helps you through the entire like game. Him. Guess not. Still got no clue how this thing works. Oh shit! Oh shit, indeed. Mark Smith, this is Catapult Two Four, engaging hostile on bridge. Yeah, weapons are pretty ineffective in much 
better just shooting people. Uh, just punching people. What was I doing here? Alright guys, well, I think uh, we've basically got the gist of the game now, we've seen what it's all about. And that's it really, that's what prototype is. basically grab some guy you don't particularly like the look of, take him to the top of a really tall building. What? Yeah, okay. Uh, as I was saying, take him to the top of a really tall building, and once you're at the top, here we go. There. Yeah, I'll drop you. <laughs> That's what you get. So, that's it. Like the look of this game, definitely buy it guys, you won't be disappointed. So, I would definitely rate this game quite highly because I really enjoyed the first one and I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this as well. So, if you're like me, you like the first one, you'll definitely like this, so go for it. Um, so, thanks for watching. Um, I'm Josh from Respawn Timer, make sure that you like, favourite and subscribe. Um, we could really do with the uh, support. Um, it's pretty hard for a new YouTuber nowadays, so any assistance we can get, any like support that you're willing to offer would be very much appreciated. So, yeah. Like I said, thanks for watching, like, favourite and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, the only other thing to look out for is you can find our Facebook page, it'll be in the description down below, and see you later.